Well, the beat goes on for your Rockwall Yellow Jackets, this time a victory over the Rylad Eagles and claim fame to that infamous Lake Ray Hubbard rivalry. They win 48-21 over Rylad. They are now 8-0, and the good news is the Rockwall Yellow Jackets have gotten a spot at the table for the 2014 Playoffs. Hello, everybody. Chris Curtis here for the Rockwall Sports Center Yellow Jacket Update, joined by an ever so confident Billy Quinton in his Rockwall Yellow Jackets. Billy, a huge win on Friday night. A big test for Rockwall. They passed with flying colors once again. I love it when another team that's playing gets something that I have nothing involved with makes me confident. That's what go. that's what I enjoy. Uh, yeah, another test passed. It was a great game for Rockwall. It had everything that I think Coach Webb and these, the, these players needed. You get a you know I like it when you win by 27, but you were still tested, and that's what happened in this ball game. It was a rivalry game. It was a game that uh, both teams were intense. Rowlett is a very good team. They're going to be in the playoffs. They're they're going to make their mark. But it was nice to see Rockwall come out and uh, have a little bit of adversity come through and then uh, put the game away in the fourth quarter. It's nice to know uh, for the second straight year, Rockwall is in the playoffs once again. They don't have to wait till the last week this year. They kind of know they're already at the table now. What does this mean for this Rockwall Yellow Jacket team going forward? Now they have to focus on winning district and getting that number one seed. But but to clinch this early is a great thing for Rockwall. It really is. It's, it hasn't happened around here in a long time. Uh, you know, uh, maybe 10 years, I think, since the last time Rockwall has clinched a playoff spot this early. I, I think it's another uh, another experience for these guys to go through is what it is. Uh, you, they're, they're experiencing new things each season last year making the playoffs for the first time in a while and uh, then winning a playoff game now it's the other way around as the theme has been all year it's bullseye teams are now shooting for you we see that on Twitter where teams we talked about this off camera teams are now saying things and 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 uh, kind of trash talking a little bit and Rockwall didn't have that before it was always a given that you're probably gonna beat the Yellow Jackets uh, you know a couple years ago but now they're the team that everybody's after they have to understand that and deal with that they've done a great job now you got to go out and play knowing you've achieved one of your goals already. And you got to go to Tyler, a long way away, a very good Tyler Lee team. So uh, this is going to be another test for them. They need this win. It's not They're not done yet. They've clinched a playoff spot, but they conceivably could still be third in district. So they need to win this one. And they have not won the district yet because Garland's right around the corner uh, a couple games away, and Garland's going to have something to say about it. And of course, one of the big reasons this team is 8-0 and I've already clinched the playoff spot is Coach Webb. You got to think he's excited about his team returning to the postseason. Well, there's certainly a different dynamic this year. Last year, it was touch and go the whole time. In fact, we really felt like at this point uh, last season, we were kind of on the outside looking in. We had to get some help from other people uh, right up until the last week of the season. And this week or this year, you know, it's a little bit different. So it's really a different dynamic this year. But um, you know, we don't we don't really uh, uh, we, we're not we don't have the luxury this year of overlooking anybody or having an off week or anything. So you know, this Lee game is important. Next week, the Garland game is going to be really important. And uh, so it's almost like a playoff atmosphere for us now. And the Rockwell Yellow Jackets will get on a bus this Friday and take their longest journey of the year so far. They will travel east to Tyler, Texas to take on the Tyler Lee Red Raiders at Rose Stadium. What do the Rockwell Yellow Jackets need to do? This could be a trap game for them as they will be looking to go 9-0, and but it could be a very dangerous game for them. It could be. Now, first of all, they're taking the bus. They're not taking the jet because you have the Yellow Jackets. they got to go 10-0 before they get the jet airline here going. Gotcha. I want to make sure because we're taking the jet. Oh, I figured you were. Of course the broadcast is yeah. uh, No, they need to stay focused as usual, and I think Coach Webb will do do a great job of, of keeping the focus and the players do a great job themselves you talk to them and they know what's at hand they're not letting anything get to them they know that that it's a it's a tough ball game Tyler Lee comes in four and four they're three and two in district play they're one of the three teams fighting for those last two playoff spots that are available Rockwall and Garland are pretty much in but it's Saxe Rowlett and Tyler Lee trying to get those last two spots so they have everything to play for two years ago we went out there and uh, had a very good ball game and Rockwall won that one handily about 40 to nothing if I remember right, but this is an unbelievable experience going out to Tyler Lee. It's a historic stadium. It's a neat atmosphere. You're out in the Piney Woods in East Texas, and it's a whole different world out there, and it's a very good team. So Rockwall does need to stay focused. They need this win to take another step towards that uh, journey of going deep into the playoffs. You want to get the best standings possible. Uh, so getting another win, staying undefeated, and prepping yourself for that final game against Garland. 
And Billy, this game is on Halloween this upcoming Friday. It's a very scary thing to face this Rockwall Yellow Jacket team. But one of the scary things about this team is they are 8-0, of course. They are dominating teams left and right. But this team is actually coming together on both sides of the ball. Very scary for opponents coming up here in the near future. It's really not fair, and it, it would be scary if I were the opponent and I had to game plan to play the Rockwall Yellow Jackets. They come in on Halloween, orange and black. That's already uh, rocking it right there on that holiday. And then you got the offense, and we all know about the offense with Chris Warren and Castile and Reed and, and Galloway. I mean, my, I love, of course, we have Warren having another outstanding game and, and Castile making his plays and just entertaining us constantly with, with big plays. But let's give credit to some other people that don't get a lot of pub. Jay Galloway, about every two catches is a touchdown. He makes them count. Will Reed doing an excellent job on offense, getting the ball where it needs to be. The offensive line opening up holes for Chris Warren as they've done all year. The big scary part of it is the defense is coming together too, as you mentioned. Everything coming around. The, the defense has been solid all year, but it seems to be getting better and better. We're getting some kids back that have been hurt. Uh, John Wright is back in the secondary. He made, made a difference. James Taylor makes a difference last game, getting a key interception for a pick six and really putting the game away. So if you're Tyler Lee or Garland coming up, it's a tough uh, road to hoe there to try to plan for the Rockwall Yellow Jackets. It would be scary. All right, Yellow Jacket Nation, save a trip to the dentist next week. Avoid the candy. Go out to Tyler. Enjoy the game. It's 730 at Rose Stadium. But, of course, if you can't make it out, www.rockwallisd.com to join Billy Quinton and his gang as they break down Tyler Lee versus Rockwall. Rockwall looking to go 9-0 and for the first time in what could be a very long time. I think stats went back that far. That's how no, long it's no, been. No, it's been so, long. So do you have a before, before the Internet. Before your time, for yes. sure. Exactly. All right. Do you have a prediction for this game? Uh, again, I think Rockwall wins this one. I think Tyler Lee's going to have their moments and they're going to get uh, some scores. I think it's going to be a lot like the Rowlett and Saxe game. I think Rockwall probably gets uh, 50, let's say 52-28, uh, uh, I think will be the final. All right, Vegas right here. Put the odds on it right there. All right. It's always cool to talk gambling about high school sports. <laughs> we'll edit that out. All right. <laughs> Don't forget, www.rockwallisd.com for the Rockwall Sports Center Yellow Giant Update. I'm Chris Karras for Bully Quinn. We'll see you next week for Senior Night. One final game here at the Wilkerson Sanders Memorial Stadium for these seniors. Thanks again, everybody.